The bonus task of this week is about this famous game Rock, Paper, Scissors. We would like to run a hundred consecutive games and both players have handed in a text file consisting of R's for rock, P's for paper, S for scissors, um, each in one line. And what we have to do is first to read this player1.txt and player2.txt file and store it into a kind of list. So what we have to do first is we have to prepare our list, let's say p1 equals to an empty list, and then we go through with our with statement through the file. So what you can see here, the list, the empty list has been created. With the with statement we run through the file, we loop through the file line by line, we always strip because we would like to get rid of the line break, we append the result, a single character, into our list p1 and we print out and we see we have a list containing of r's and p's and s and so on. Basically the same we have to do now for p2, so I simply copy and paste these lines of code and that's what I have to do first. Okay, I have to append to P2, of course. And you see, this is working as well. So what do we have to do next? We will loop over both lists, P1 and P2, and compare the entry at index 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And when, then we compare if the one has written an R, the other has written a B, and we can decide if the one or the other has won. And to store the results, we first create a list consisting of three entries, meaning the number of wins for player one, the number of wins for player two, and finally at index two, the number of draws. So let's go through the list. For E in range 100, we would like to have 100 games. If, now we have to check the value at index i in list 1, if index, let's start with an r. Yeah, so if this is an r, we have of course to compare what player p2 has in his list at this position. If p2 i equals to r as well, and in this case we do have a draw, so we have to increase results the last position with the index 2 by 1. Elif, so if uh, p2 has something else, equals to s, yeah, which means player 1 has played rock, player 2 has played scissors, meaning player 1 wins. So we have to increase results at the index 0 by 1. And finally, else, yeah, now player 2 has played a paper, a P, and player 1 has played a rock, so player 2 wins, so results at the position 1 should be increased. This one we have to repeat now for these different situations with P1 equals to S and P1 equals to P. And then of course we have to swap somehow these results, um, which the index of the results where we have to do an increase. So now I've um, added the other two situations, meaning P1 equals to S and else P1 equals to P. And uh, I have always, again, have this same type of nested if, il, if, else with P2 equals to R and S, uh, R and S, R and S. And depending on these combinations, either um, results 0, 1 or 2 is increased. You have to be a little bit careful to, to, to really 
cover all the situations. Now we can let it run and we can check if how are the results. So let's go through it. We have 31 wins for player two, 26 for player two, 43 for player for draw. And if you sum it up, then you can see it's really a hundred. So it seems to be work fine. Now, finally, we should put these results into a file named result.txt. So again, we have to open a file and put these entries in there. So how can we do this? Again, we open with a with statement our file. We would like to write in it that's that we choose the right models. And then we have three write statements and each of its con um, contains a string which is composed of a constant player width plus we then have to transform we have to cast our results integer into a string and finally we have to add this line break so if we let it run we can then check in our um, in our file that really this file has been written and the data will be stored and is, are, is available in the future.